Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'll be talking about voltage meters, how to wire them, and how I installed one on the wagon. Now, a voltage meter is an important part of any system because you definitely don't want to starve your amps for power. Definitely don't want to starve your amps for power. That's how I ended up clipping one of my amps and damaging it, and uh, I definitely do not want that to happen again. So let's take a look at this voltage meter. So now this is your typical cheap run-of-the-mill voltage meter. I got this one I believe on eBay. It was part of a three pack. I think you can get these on eBay or Amazon for like two to three bucks a piece. They come in two wire options and three wire options. I got the three wire option that way I can have a remote. So let me show you how to wire these. So your black wire of course is going to be your negative wire. Your red and, yellow, and your yellow wire are going to be your positive wires. When you hook those up together to the positive side of a battery then you hook the negative to the negative side you'll get a reading like this and that's essentially what you do in your car. You run the red and yellow to the positive and then you run the black to the negative. Now let's say you want to have a remote wire. If you want to have a remote wire then you're going to have to figure out which one is the remote wire on your specific voltmeter and I'll show you how to do that. Alright, so I still got my green alligator clip hooked up to the negative side, running to the negative side of that battery, and then I've disconnected the red and yellow wires here, but I still have the alligator clip running to the battery over there. And this is how you find out which one is your remote and which one is your power wire. Now surprisingly on this specific voltmeter, if you notice whenever I hook it up to the red wire, the voltmeter comes on. What that actually means is that my red wire is my remote wire. When the, whatever I hook up the yellow wire to is what it's going to take the actual reading on. So if I was to hook this up to the positive here, you see it'll give me a reading on the battery. So don't let the colors kind of trick you because I know in a normal setting you would think that the red wire is going to be the positive wire. That's what you're going to hook up to your power. But in this specific model, the red wire is the remote, the yellow wire is what you hook up to your power, to your to what you want the reading on. So, And that's how you test it. So if you notice, if I hook up just the yellow wire, nothing comes on. Hook up the red one, the voltmeter comes on, but I have no reading. So there you have it. This yellow wire is the one that I hook up to my actual power source. This red wire is what I hook up to my remote. This black wire is what I hook up to my negative. So now all you have to do is find a location in your car where you want to put that in. Run wire from your power source all the way up to the voltmeter and get it installed. I use this 18.3 LED cable. It worked fine. And this is what my voltmeter looks like. So this is what I did on my car. I cut out one of these pieces for a light that wasn't in use and I put it behind there. It's behind a black piece of plexiglass so it kind of just looks like it's factory integrated into the vehicle. So with the car off, it was reading 11 point something. Car on, battery running, it's reading 14.8. And now let me turn the music up so that you can or see real time what a voltmeter does for you. And that's what you want to see. You want to see your voltage up there. You definitely don't want it to get in the 12s or below. Maybe 12s are okay, but definitely not in the 9s, 10s, or even low 11s because then you might run into clipping clipping you're starving your amp of power it's not good for anybody all right so that's pretty much all you need to know about voltmeters and how to get one installed in your car i hope you found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe give me a thumbs up where did you put the voltmeter in your car give us some ideas on where we can put it in and integrate it into the factory look of the vehicle appreciate y'all for watching till next time y'all stay safe out there